In this illustration, we intend to simulate a two-dimensional consolidation of a fully saturated soil layer in the Abacus software. The simulation in this question is aimed at drawing a diagram of consolidation settlement of soil. Actually, we intend to simulate the example 4.6 from Sam Helvani book in the Abacus software. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of soil. From here, I will select the modeling space as 2D planner of the formable shell and enter the rough size of the tracing page as 2 and continue. Here, I will draw a rectangle. The height of soil is 50 millimeters. 50 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 3 meters and length of the soil has been considered to be very long. As explained in the book, the length of soil is equal to uh, 20 meters of the foundation width. Here uh, the foundation width is uh, 25 millimeters as a result of which uh, the length of soil would be equal to 500 millimeters. 500 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 3 uh, so I will click on Done. In the next step, we should determine a place for strip foundation. I will select Partition from the Tools menu from here, Face and Sketch. I'll draw a vertical line. The foundation width is equal to 25 millimeters. I will enter the distance between this point and this one equal to 25 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 3 meters and then click on done. In the next step, I'll enter property module, click on create material. I'll uh, select elasticity and elastic from mechanical menu. The young uh, modulus is equal to 690 gigapascal, 690 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 pascal, and the Poisson ratio is equal to 0. In the next step, I'll select pore fluid and permeability from other menu. Here the coefficient of permeability is equal to 5.08 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 7 meters per day. I will enter void ratio equal to 1. Here the specific weight of fluid is equal to uh, 200. 72.9 kilo newton, newton divided by cubic meter 272.9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 in the next step I'll click on OK then on create section from here I'll select solid homogeneous continue and OK then I'll click on assign section Select Soil, Done, and OK. In the next step, I'll enter Assembly Module, click on Create Instance, and then click on OK. In the next step, I'll enter Step Module as explained in the book. Uh, 
This question would be solved in six steps. I will click on create step. In the step one, a strip load is applied to the foundation white. From here, I'll select soils continue. The analysis will be in nonlinear form. I'll take off this option. Here the time period is equal to 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 6 days. Here I will enter the maximum pore pressure change per increment equal to 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 Pascal and click on OK. The consolidation process will be accomplished during five steps. I will click on Create Step. I will select Soils, Continue. Here, the time period is equal to 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative five days. As explained in the book, each step is divided into ten equal sub-steps. So, I will select Fix from here and enter maximum number of increment equal to ten and enter increment size as 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 6. Actually, the time period is equal to maximum number of increments multiplied by increment size, uh, which you can observe here. And so I'll then click on OK. I will click on Create a Step again. Here I will select Soils, Continue. Time period is equal to 1 and multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 4. Here I will enter maximum number of increments equal to 10 and increment size as 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 5 and OK. I'll click on Create a Step again. Select Soils, Continue. Here the time period is equal to 0 0.001 days. Here I will enter maximum number of increment as 10 and increment size as 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 4 and then click on OK. I click on create a step again. Select soils, continue. The time period is equal to 0 0.01 days. And I'll click on OK. I will click on Create a Step again. Here I'll select Soils, Continue. Here the time period is equal to 0 0.1 days. I click on OK. Here you can observe all the steps which are available and actually five consequent steps have been used here for the consolidation process. Here I will save the model.
In the next step, I'll enter load module, click on create boundary condition, select initial step from here, then displacement rotation, and continue. I will select this line, done, and close the boundary condition of U1 for it, and OK. In the next step, I'll click on create boundary condition, from here, select displacement rotation, and continue. Select the bottom of the soil and done. A roller support has been used on the bottom of the soil, uh, which you can observe that here. So I'll take on U2 option and click on OK. In the next step, I will click on Create Boundary Condition. From here, select Symmetry, Anti-Symmetry and continue. Then I select this line and done. It is actually the symmetry line of the model and for this reason, I will select X symmetric here and OK. In the next step, I will click on Create Predefined Field from here, select Other and Void Ratio and continue. Then I will select Soil, Done, then enter Initial Void Ratio equal to 1 and OK. In the next step, I click on Create Load. From here, select Loading Step, then Pressure and continue. As explained in the book, in the step one, a strip load with magnitude of uh, 3.45 megapascal will be applied to the foundation width. I'll select the foundation width, click on done, and enter 3.45 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 pascal. Here, I'll select instantaneous and OK. In the next step, I'll click on Create Boundary Condition. From here, select Consolidation, one step, then select Other and Pore Pressure and continue. And select the top surface of the soil and done. As explained in the book, uh, there would not be possibility of drainage uh, from the soil surface in the step one, but the drainage uh, would be possible in the consolidation step. So I will enter uh, zero here and uh, OK in this manner. In the next step, I'll enter Mesh Module here, click on Seed Edge, select these two lines, done. Here, I will enter the number of elements as 48 and OK, then select these two lines, done and enter the number of elements as 20 and OK. Then I will select these lines, done, and here enter the number of elements equal to 15, and uh, bias ratio equal to 5. Then click on Select. Again, I select these lines, done, and OK. In the next step, I will click on Assign Mesh Control, select the soil, done. Here, I will select Quad and Structured, and OK. And then click on Mesh Part, and Yes. In the next step, I will click on Assign Element Type, select the soil, done. Put the element family on pore fluid stress and OK. As you observe, a fine meshing 
has been used in the place where the load is applied. Here uh, I will save the model, enter the job module, click on create job, Continue and OK and click on Submit. The analysis was done successfully so I click on Result. Here we intend to draw this diagram. Actually uh, we intend to draw the diagram of the consolidation settlement. To do so, I will click on Create XY Data ODB Field Output and continue. Then I will select Unique Nodal and here select U2. Then click on Edit Selection. Select this node and Done and then click on Plot in this manner. In the next step, I'll click on Create XY Data. From here on, Operate on XY Data and Continue. I will select this diagram and multiply that by 1000 and then click on Save As. In this manner, the unit of displacement uh, will be turned to millimeter. Then I'll click on OK. Here I will right click on the diagram, edit, uh, select these two columns, copy and paste them in the Excel software. The first column is time period, the unit of which is day. And the second column is settlement, the unit of which is millimeter. I will select these two columns, then select this diagram from Insert menu,
Here you can observe diagram of the consolidation settlement time. The diagram having been drawn in blue is the one that has been obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results having been gained from the Abacus software are quite the same as those in some Helvani book.